Alright, so hey, this is uh, Kendrick and... Daya? Daya, yeah. So anyway, um, we just decided to do like an update on binocular vision dysfunction. We've had some changes and uh, I don't know why I'm yelling, I got the microphone here. But anyway, we had some changes and I just kind of wanted to keep y'all up to date and let y'all know kind of what we're experiencing. We're about, I guess maybe a year to two years into this condition. And uh, currently where I am, you see, I'm actually, it's pretty bad but I've got over the glasses, glasses, okay? The reason why is because, um, so I went to my last prescription and you know, you have to buy, when you have binocular vision dysfunction, you have to buy shades and glasses or you have to like get some for grad, like what is it? The uh, transition. Transitions, I, I don't even know if you can get transitions. I guess I you can. I have no idea. So, but basically that's $2,000 every year to pay for glasses. And so I was just like, no. So I was just like, yo, I'm gonna I'm hold off and I'm gonna get these old school granddaddy Amazon over the glasses, glasses, and just use them in the car and just, you know, everybody gonna have to deal with it, so. But um, you can give your update, tell what happened to you. <laughs> I lost my glasses on a roller coaster, thinking that they would stay in my shirt. Thousand dollars, thousand dollars, laying at Disney World. I put Disney in a World. request to find it, but they haven't found it. Anyway, so I'm just wearing regular, regular schmegler shades. It's not, it's not the greatest thing, but, um, you know, I look fly, so, you know, it's a plus. However, I do need to go get some more glasses, and I just keep forgetting that I struggle with BBD. So, and then when it hits me and when I have eye strain, I'm like, oh, yes, I need glasses. So, that's what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> but, yeah, so, regular shades. Well, let's talk about a little, uh, I mean, because it's not just really about us. Let's talk about the kind of what we're dealing with, something that can help other folks right now, right? Because... Mm -hmm. So for me, I can tell you, like, I've had some bad days um, over the last weeks or so. And I can tell you, sleep and staying off your phone, like scrolling on your phone is a big one. Like that, to me, accelerates my symptoms more than anything. But also, I work a lot of hours. And so working and looking at the monitor, that also does it. But at least the last couple of days, I've been feeling a little bit better. But for the last maybe four weeks six weeks or or two three months or more maybe it's it's been rough like my eyes don't seem like they're tracking well you know like you look somewhere and then it take a second kind of and you know you just you know i just didn't feel overall good and stable so even at this point with the bbd glasses like there are going to be some times where you're going to have like some bad spells and then it'll get better but if you like it's really about managing and taking care of your eyes no, you can tell you can share a little bit of kind of like a little bit more detail about what you're going through. Well, um, I do know that I can't just like if I wake up and immediately get on my phone and stay on my phone for a long time, my eyes will strain a bunch. Um, that the glasses help that they help a lot of that go away. Like I strain when it comes to like my phone and computer and stuff like that. But what I've been doing recently is I've been uh, decreasing the amount of blue light for that I intake I guess in my like monitors like my monitors have modes to turn that down but then also like in your computer like on I, I know what like Windows 11 you have an option to turn uh night mode on and to like whatever degree and it makes the screen warmer makes the colors different but it saved my eyes <laughs> so much and I turned my brightness down on my monitors that help and that's just like done so much work uh also you think we should talk about like dark mode and stuff like that in different browsers and all kinds of stuff? I think anything that'll help, yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, so um, I feel like dark mode in like browsers, it can decrease the amount of like bright light you take in, but then sometimes it's just, it hurts more to read white letters. And I don't know why that is, but in some things, like every now and then I have to switch from dark mode to light mode or something like that or I just I've changed most of my stuff to light mode at this point now because it's just so much easier for me to see it and I just turn my brightness down so and then the blue light mode on top of that the no blue light but yeah uh, I guess being without my glasses all my symptoms are coming back so um, my comprehension is much worse um, and so is my like I know just like my speed of reading is really slow now like a lot more slow and just thinking is can be hard sometimes too like with all that going on but I mean that's pretty much it for me I guess but yeah. I mean that's my own fault you know what I'm saying because I ain't got my glasses yet it's been like some weeks so yeah. 
And so what we got to do is, is really we just got to go in and get another apartment. She saved a little money because she didn't have to get glass frames before because she was able to use her existing frames. Yeah. But now that she's lost the, the, the glasses, she can't get the same frames anymore. Mm-hmm. So that means that when she goes in, we're possibly going to be looking at a thousand dollars. Now, here's the thing yeah. on my frames, like on my, when I went for my last checkup, which was about four, four months ago, I literally had the same glasses and got frames for the same glasses and it was still a thousand dollars. So for her, when she goes in, I hope that it's not a thousand dollars plus in you both. frames. Yeah. So I'm just going to tell you, like, it gets very expensive. Oh, yeah. But also, like, if you don't treat it, it's like your life is almost over. Like it, it literally can get to the point where you just can't function. Like you feel like you're losing your mind. You feel like you're detached from everybody. You don't, you just don't feel happy. You just feel depressed Mm -hmm. and you feel like you're out of control. You're driving and things happening around you and you're scared that you can't react because you can't really like focus on it sometimes or you don't feel like you're seeing stuff. Um, and then on top of that, I have ocular migraines. I have one or two a year. Used to just be one. Now I had two this year which means that I'll like lose a portion. Like I don't have a black spot, it's different. And so look up ocular migraines because some of you may have this, but essentially I just can't see a portion of my vision. It's, it's not black, it's not blocked out, it's not like something that's there, it's obstructing it, it's just literally not there. And so I have to manage my fatigue level because if I'm like staying up too late and I get enough rest, stressed out, I'll have an ocular migraine on top of that. So it's just, you know, it's not good. <laughs> so. Um, but I hope this helps. We did try to live stream because we wanted to be able to talk to some of y'all who, you know, if, to a- answer your questions live instead of in the comments because we suck at it. But if you like to see us live stream, please leave a comment and let us know, like, when would be a good time? Because we would like to be able to answer your questions and help y'all out because bottom line is I was looking for relief and I found found out what this stuff was uh, for me and it's helped her. But and honestly, I think my dad has it too. But he's just too stubborn to go get checked out. You know how you know how our fathers are sometimes. So, anyway, don't forget to drop a like on the video, and hope we can help y'all. See ya. Bye.